What's up guys? This is LNC03 and pretty much this tutorial today is going to be about how to manipulate or edit a low resolution select screen to work for one moving plus. And um, I know this is an old tutorial, uh, or rather this is an old topic because you know and seeing how uh, Moogun 1.0 and 1.1 has already come out, uh, it seems pointless. But just over the years, like in forums and especially on uh, YouTube, nobody really has posted a tutorial on how to do this. So I just want to do that really quick. So anyway, um, pretty much I'm, sh I'm going to show you the screen pack I'm going to be I'm going to be using, and uh, it is the Great Gear screen pack which I got from Moogun History, and it's pretty much offline. Now, nobody, I've never seen it again, so it's crazy. But um, even though the site is back online, but the Great Gear screen pack, I've never found it. But anyway, this is a uh, just a logo; it's not part of it. Anyway, here it is. So, a bit of history. Um, pretty much, the high resolution Mugen was a hacker with regular uh, when Mugen, which allowed for um, high resolution stages, but you uh, couldn't play low resolution stages. But shortly after that, uh, another hack called Wimbledon Plus came out, allowing you to play low res, high resolution stages, as well as um, high resolution characters. But the only problem was that uh, Wimbledon Plus didn't support uh, it didn't support high resolution uh, it didn't support low resolution screen uh, select screens. So pretty much this tutorial is just to, uh, on how to modify your low resolution select screen to work for Wimbledon Plus. So as you can see, in this screen pack, which is a low resolution uh, select screen, everything is pretty much super small, jumbled up, it just looks nasty, right? So we're going to figure out how to change it. And the, it's pretty simple, the basics are, all you have to do really is just edit these select uh, cells and these individual boxes to make them bigger on the system.dev file. And really that's all you have to do, and move around a few things and, and then you'll be good. So I'll show you how to do that. First off, let's open up our uh, system.dev. We're gonna go over here, and then we're gonna go down. And we're gonna look at the information right here, select info. So, um, pretty much I've already changed the things, so I already have the values over here that I'm gonna change it to, but depending on what screen pack you have, it'll be different, you have to just adjust it until you get it right so for starters I'm gonna put the position the position here is it uh, pretty much adjusts the entire select screen uh, you know the entirety of the cells of the select screen they adjust the left or right so the more you increase this number the more right it goes the more you increase this number the lower it goes so I'm just gonna change this to 150 to center a little bit and cell size now cell size and cell spacing um, to me they're kind of like this they're kind of the same but I like to uh, manipulate the cell size because it goes in pixels and you can and it, the macro is just a lot more and I like to edit this instead of that so I'm gonna change this to 17 like I said I already have the data for what I'm gonna change it to right here so I'm gonna change this to 17 I'm gonna change um, I'm gonna change I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna go down here and change the portrait scale to 0.5 to make it a little bigger. So I'm gonna change this to 0.5 instead of 0.3. Now let's see what happens. So save. I'm gonna go back uh, to that menu. And as you can see, uh, and remember, I, I've already uh, edited this screen back to work or edit the select screen. So I already have the values, but anyway, as you can see, the cells are a lot more um, centered. They're not perfect. I'm still gonna edit them, but they're a lot more centered, and it just looks a little better, you know. Um, and also, since I edited the portrait scale right here, right here, uh, since I edited that, that you see, Evil Ken and Kung Fu Man's, you see that portrait is bigger than the actual cell can contain. But we're going to actually change the cells using Fighter Factory to uh, make it fit, pretty much. 
so but and also as you can see uh some problems haven't been changed as in the character portrait for player two as well as the name for the character for player two as well as the stage is still in the back position anyway but before we do all that we're just gonna go to a uh, fighters factory we're gonna go to fighters factory we're gonna open up sprites uh open we're gonna go to your uh, system.sff right here system.sff and i'm gonna navigate to the scrolling uh the scrolling panel in the background and i'm just gonna increase the size by just twice the size so i'm gonna do which will pretty much fix that problem so here it is right here and i'm just gonna go to uh Edit image, image, resize, and then all I'm going to do is simply increase this by, uh, I'm just going to double the size of this pretty much. So I'm going to, uh, you know, um, twice the number of uh, 4,983 is 9,966, I just use a calculator because I didn't want to wait anyway. So I'm 9966, and I'm going to put this to 480, so I'm going to double that too. Okay, save, exit, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to sprite save them, save it. For, I'm going to put Mugen Beta because these two are older versions and so I'm going to go to go back to system.sff system file and um, pretty much I'm just going to replace it so system.sff save boom and I'm going to close, close everything Now let's go back to my move and let's see what happens. Now as you can see the the scrolling background uh, portrait, the scrolling background panel is perfect now. Now it's exactly the size I need it and all I need to do is edit the edit a little bit more things and we're good. So let's go back. Now let's go over here. Let's add a few more things. So I'm gonna go down here, and then um, pretty much this means we're gonna go over here. This means the name or the location of the character portrait for the second player. And again, since I already have the data, I'm just gonna put 639 right here to make it go to the far left. And I'm gonna go down here where the name of the the name of the um, of the of player two under the portrait I'm going to also put this to 611 put it right under there so I'll save go back to where we're moving train now look what happens boom you see that it's right there the player 2 portrait as well as the name for the character it's right there it's in the perfect position so now let's just change the stage uh, location and also um, of course I could go just like to a font editor and edit the font but I'm just, I'll just choose a different font right now uh, let me see go down here and you see I'm using uh, font number three but if you didn't know uh, this is the number this is which font you're using you know which number font you're using and this is a color and then don't worry about this <clears throat> And this one is uh, green, two is dark blue, three <clears throat> is light blue. So, yeah, this the second number is pretty much a color. So what? So I'm gonna do font five. Let's go up, and you see I added this uh, Spidey 16 font. I'm gonna use this font. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go down here, go to fonts. And I'm gonna change this to five. Change this to five one. Cause I want it in green, and yeah, I'm gonna change this to five, five zero. And also, the last thing I'm going to do is change the team position menu. As if, if I'm doing a team co-op or anything that uses teams, I'm also change the position 
similar to how I changed the P2 uh, player 2's uh, name position. So I'm just going to change this to 6 on 1 and then we're good. Boom. So after that, let's see what happens. So I'll save. Go to a movie. Now look at the sage. Actually, when well, I did something wrong, let me see. I mean, the font is good, but the position of the font isn't. What did I do? Um, oh, as you can see right here, I didn't change it. I didn't change the position of it right here. So let's just put that 311. Let's put that 460. Save. Now let's just see this seat again. Go back to training. The stage perfect. You see, it's exactly where I want it. Because I edited uh, the position of the stage right here. So, yeah. So, pretty much all I have to do now is just edit the random select icon and then edit the, uh, the select the select uh, cells and I'm good so for the rest of the, so for the rest of the tutorial I'm going to be using fires factory so now I'm just going to reopen fires factory and I'm going to navigate again to the system.sff file then I'm going to go over here so pretty much um, I'm just going to edit three things First will be the random I the random uh, select icon. So I'm trying to go up here, and again I already have the values. I already know what I'm going to uh, change it to. So I'm just going to change it to 13. That's going to make it fit in the cell exactly. So for the width and height, for the width and height, I'm just going to make it 13. Boom. Save. So that's good. Now we're going to go over here. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to four thousand zero. So four thousand zero group four thousand index zero, and we're gonna change the. Um, we're gonna change the cell icon, and as you can see, what I'm changing is this. Is this line right here? This is the sprite I'm changing. So pretty much, I'm just gonna increase it a little bit, you know, to match the to match the portrait scale that I changed earlier to 0.5 so I'm gonna go on uh, image editor right here resize then I'm gonna again I already know the value so I'm just gonna put it to 16 and here's something funky that um, Fire Factory loves to do I mean yeah it resized but just look how funky it looks like uh, each side isn't even it's just it looks nasty I don't know why it does that and I, I'm no um, you know, Fire Factory Pro or anything. I just used it to edit screen packs, but I just don't know why it does that. But I have a quick fix for it. It's pretty much I'll just increase the zoom. That's the first the zoom. And then what I'm gonna do is um, get the dropper tool so I can uh, copy that gray, and then get the pen tool. And for some reason, well, luckily enough. Uh, two cursors can two cursors can fit inside one uh, side of the border. So what I'm going to do is just make it even is by just adding another box to each side to make it even. That's all I'm going to do. So let's keep doing this. Again, I'm not sure if you're going to have to do this. It's just I guess I don't know if it's just this uh, particular sprite or. But nevertheless, I'll go ahead and do that. And after we're done with that, I'll just go to file save. Now um, press no. Exit out of there. And the last thing where I'm going to change is 4007, which is the cursor icon, the cursor sprite. And you can also see that right here, as well as right here. So I'm just going to change to the exact same size, which will be 16 on each side. But this also still does that strange thing, so I'll have to edit it a little bit. So I'll go to OK. But this time I'm just going to erase. 
I'm just gonna erase it to where it, only one cursor thing can fit inside each each uh, boundary. So I increase. Then I'm just gonna go like this. And I think we're good. And also, don't forget to uh, realign this to zero zero. I, I often times I forget that. So realign this back to zero zero, and also go back to four thousand zero. Realign that to zero. And I think we're done. So I'll just save. And again, I'll save in the same. Save over it. Same in the same place. This is a nice effect. And now let's see, see what happens. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly how I want it. Of course, I could change the cursor icon to be a little bit more thicker to cover it, but this is exactly how I want it. So, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, do effects 23. Thanks for watching.